Uh, hi, my name is Mike. I have a problem. Uh, I guess I, I noticed that it all started happening when I was uh, losing friends. They, they didn't want to be around me. They said I, I, I smelt and, you know, that I, I wanted to drink all the time, you know, from the salt. And I think that it was, you know, I was at a pizza place and uh, my friends, they all, they all just left. They said, I can't deal with this anymore. I, I don't want to have anything to do with you or your anchovies. Fear not, friend. It is I, Dan Delaney. <gasps> and I'm here to tell you that your anchovy problem is not a problem at all, nor is it anything to hide. So stay strong, my friend, at least through today's WTF. Today's sponsor is Rio's Brazilian. They're an Austin-based cafe, and they started making products that they are shipping nationwide. They make gluten-free cheese balls, as well as a bunch of different sauces and a whole lot of other stuff. They're gonna do a uh, promotion for WTFers. Um, for the first five people that buy anything over $25 from their website, they're going to include a free bag of Brazilian coffee. Just include the words, what's this food, at the time of checkout in the personal message section. And we are going to give away this very t-shirt. In order to win, post a comment below letting me know what your favorite type of Brazilian food is. So today we're talking about anchovies. Not, uh, hear me out for a second. Most of you have interacted with anchovies on like pizza or in a Caesar salad, but there is way, way more to anchovies. So anchovies are small, common, oily fish. They're found all over the place and they're really diverse. In fact, there are 140 species of anchovies that lie into 16 genres and they're found in the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans. In terms of size, they can range from about a half an inch to 15 inches, which I certainly don't want on my pizza. So you're saying who wants a 15 inch anchovy? Well, keep in mind that they're not just for humans. They are eaten by almost every predatory fish in the world, from halibut up to shark. Historically speaking, the Mediterranean anchovy was the most popular fish of the time, and it was written about more than any other fish by the Greeks. In addition, anchovy sandwiches have been popular by the French in their breakfast cuisine for years. And guess who introduced the word anchovy to the English language? Our good old buddy Shakespeare in 1596. When it comes to buying anchovies, don't even think about cheaping out. It's the cheap anchovies that taste horrible, and because of that, anchovies have such a horrible rap. So when you're selecting anchovy, go for the higher quality ones, and I promise you the taste is going to be way better. It was the food wizard Mark Bittman that said that the best anchovies come packed in olive oil or salt. So those are the ones that we are going to use today, and we're also going to use one of his recipes, which is simply anchovies with pasta and tomatoes. First, put your favorite type of pasta in a pot of boiling salted water. Meanwhile, dice up 10 garlic cloves and put them in a pan with about a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Add about a palmful of chili flakes and 20 anchovy fillets. Cook this all together over medium heat until the anchovies start to break apart. Now add about two cups of halved cherry tomatoes and stir them all together and let the tomatoes cook down a little bit. Once your pasta is done, add it to your anchovies and tomatoes, top with a little black pepper and enjoy. So that's how you make a simple anchovy pasta dish. Now I promise you guys, if you get the good anchovies, you're going to be blown away. They taste nothing like the cheap ones in the tin. Um, again, Rio's Brazilian is our sponsor and we're giving away this t-shirt to win. Post a comment below and let me know what your favorite type of Brazilian food is and I will see you tomorrow.